This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today we're gonna to take a look at Harvest Valley. But before that, this video is brought to you by Cape Cod Druva and 5th Gen Farms. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Harvest Valley map can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you some of the description. I present to you a fictional map of Harvest Valley. This map has one multifunctional farm, 20 fields in one meadow. This map is DLC precision farming ready. Buying animals is available. Several different selling stations of train, vehicle traffic, pedestrian traffic, machine shop, gas station, forest areas, 20 toys to find. Although, according to the game, there are 100 collectibles. So that is a little bit of a discrepancy. Biogas plant, crude oil, forest machines for starters. You will find more yourself. I wish you a long game. So. This map does have a required mod that is not listed on the download page, and that is the crude oil production. So if you are going to load this map up in a multiplayer server, be sure to upload also the crude oil production and activate it. Otherwise, the server is not going to start. And sadly, the error message is not going to be overly helpful to let you know what you need to actually add. In addition to that one required mod, we are going to be also using additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. I will tell you, if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, the main farm is completely empty of buildings, but you do start out with starting machinery in all game modes. In addition, you do not own any land in those alternate game modes, and if you happen to be playing this map on a system with low graphics capability, I did find that performance was a little lackluster here at the main farm in new farmer mode. And I believe the reason for that is because of all of these buildings. I was finding that we were getting some dips below 60 frames per second when at the local farm. And occasionally there would be a hitch or two, which would cause the game to stutter a little bit. But once we got away from the main farm, frames even out to be fairly fine. Also, if you load this map up, as I said, in Farm Manager or start from scratch, these buildings are not here. And when you do that, you don't have any issue whatsoever with respect to frame rate. So that is why I'm believing that the hitching is a result of all of these buildings that are piled up here at the starting farm location. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. This map does have all the standard crops available to us in Farm Sim 22, as well as the premium expansion crops of red beet, carrots, and parsnips. We go ahead and take a look at our lands. We start with farmland ID 15, sorry, farmland ID 14, which is the main starting farm. It is 12 acres in size and $269,000 to buy in any alternate game mode. In addition, we have farmland ID 10, 13, and 20. We do have a biogas plant that is a viable at farmland ID 12, for $316,000. Let's go and take a look at our farmland overview screen. This is gonna show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are. If those farmlands include any field, air or fields, what is included? Then lastly, how much is that farmland gonna cost us? Now up to a farmland ID 11, the fields line up just fine, but then everything goes haywire with farmland ID 12, at that point, then our farmland IDs and our field numbers are completely out of joint. We take a look at our field calculator screen. This is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And with respect to the precision farming soil map, this map is making use of the generic soil map that is included with the precision farming mod. So let's go ahead and see how that is being applied to these fields. So you can see as far as the two fields that we own, fields 10 and 12, we've got a mix of silty clay loam and sandy loam in field 10, and mostly sandy loam and a little bit of loamy sand in field 12. We do have our standard crop counter available to us here on this particular map. And if we take a look down through our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability to buy all of our base game crops that are once again available to us in FS22 
as well as our eggs, wool, and milk, as well as our silage, hay, straw, and grass. But sadly, the story changes rather drastically when we get down here to our base game productions because we do not have the ability to sell fabric, clothing, cereal, or chocolate, planks, or furniture. None of those can be sold here on this map without putting down an additional sell point yourself. In addition, we do have the ability to buy bulk lime and we do not have a place to get rid of our stones. So if we do play with stones enabled, we will need to put down our own stone sell point. Now, with respect to the platinum expansion productions, we do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items. We do, though, have the ability to sell our premium expansion production and crops. In addition, if you are playing with pumps and hoses, we do have the ability to get rid of our separated manure. We also have, with thanks to the oil that has been added to the map, we have fill types of crude oil, paraffin, kerosene, motor oil, bearing grease. And then with respect to our straw harvest add-on, we have our ability to sell our hay and straw pellets as well as our premium expansion crops. We start out with a decent list of starting machinery. All of it is owned, none of it is leased, but it does look like a fair bit of our machinery it does need some decent maintenance done to it. We do have some animal areas at the start. We have a chicken coop, sheep, cows, pigs, and horses, but we do not have any of the actual animals at the start. This map does have contracts available. We do not own any other production chains at the start. And as I said, the map is showing that we have 100 collectibles, but the description is saying that we have 20. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Massey Ferguson 6S135 small tractor, as well as the Massey Ferguson 8S205 and 7S155 medium tractors. We've got the John Deere 7R270 large tractor, as well as the New Holland CH 7.70 Harvester. The Harvester is paired up with the Fairfee 28-foot grain header, and then the header trailer is the Nardi N4ABX. We also have a Rotney H21D tree harvester and F20D forwarder. We have a New Holland TH742 Elite telehandler. We have our Lizard 2017 pickup truck, as well as our Mahindra retriever. We have three trailers, the Big Body 750S, as well as a pair of Z18051-2 XXL Power Flex trailers. We have the Bergman GTW330 Auger Wagon. We have the Scorpio 550 Stone Collector. Although we don't have a place of getting rid of our stones, we do have a stone collector. We have the Titan 18 Plow, as well as the Limpkin Karat 12500 KUA Cultivator and the Samgar 9500K. We have the BTC 50H Disc Harrow. We have the HR 4040 Power Harrow. And then the Power Harrow is typically combined with the Venta 4030 Cedar. We also have the HR 6040 RCS and the TF 1512 Seed Hopper. We have the Persia 4500 2C Super Planter. We have the Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD Roller. The Amazon ZATS 3200 3 point hitch fertilized spreader. We have the Massey Ferguson RB 4160V ProTech round baler wrapper combination, as well as the Anderson RMB 2000 bale trailer. And for a telehandler, we have a universal bucket. With respect to mods and DLCs, this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements, but we do have the crude oil production, and the crude oil production does have some custom items. We have a modified MKS and MKS32 trailer that has been set up for the crude oil. We also have the FST990 fuel trailer that has been set up for crude oil. And then we can buy empty oil barrels, and they're going to be used at one of our oil pumps. Now with that, let's go ahead and kind of look around the farm here. We start out at our farmhouse where we do have our sleep trigger. And I will say that we can indeed sell everything here at the starting farm. 
So with respect to are the farms customizable? Yes, indeed. This farm is completely and utterly customizable. If you want to sell any or all of these buildings, you can go ahead and do so. We have our workshop trigger within this large shed. Then we have another large kind of contractor shed over here with some more machinery. Just on the other side, we have our, our farm silo with our dump and fill points. And then we start taking a look at all of our animal areas. All of these are base game animal areas. So we have our pigs right here. We have our food in our delivery point. 270 pigs overall. We have a bale and pallet storage. Two pull through silage bunkers. We have a fuel storage tank as well as a storage tank for liquid herbicide and fertilizer as well as solid fertilizer. We're a feeding robot cow building. So we were silage straw in A. So as our mineral feed on the side. Then here we have our horse area. 14 total horses here. We have our food trough. We have our sheep area. 65 sheep in this pen. We have our food and wool trough. And then lastly, we have our chicken coop over here. We have our eggs. We have our chicken delivery in our food. As we have learned, 360 in this large chicken coop. Back over here to our cow area. This is the large feeding robot cow pen. So we're gonna hold 80 cows within. We have our milk trigger. If we're not using our feeding robot. Then we have our food trigger inside of here, as well as our straw trigger. And then we have our slurry point. And then we wrap it all up with a pair of buildings here and here. And as I said, everything can be sold here at the farm. In fact, if you wanted to just start out without any buildings, you could start out in farm manager or start from scratch because again, the buildings are gone in those play modes but you do start out with your starting machinery. Let's get a little bit of altitude here. Now this map initially when I was having a little bit of a performance problem on a lower end system with integrated graphics, I was thinking maybe quite maybe it was a result of having all of these trees. But again, I did not have the stuttering outside of the main farm area. And when I loaded this map up in Farm Manager, I did not have the stuttering either. And that is because, well, the buildings were not present. Just west of our starting farm, we do have our sawmill. So we have our pallet spawn point. We have our wood chip pickup point. We have our wood cell trigger there in our interactive icon. Just to the south of that, we have our farmer's market cell point. Now with respect to our scoring system, we have seven productions built into the map. We have the BGA, which we are going to now, a bakery, a sugar mill, an oil mill, grain processing. So we have a flour mill. We've already seen the sawmill and we have the small refinery. So we are going to be giving the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. At the BGA, we do have a large building for our machinery. We have three pull through bunkers and then we have the biogas plant itself. The triggers are not going to pop up until you buy the land. And once you do buy the land, you will be able to make use of the BGA and you can sell the biogas plant 
Now, when you sell the buy a gas plant, everything you see here on the screen is going to vanish. But other things, like these deco elements, the pull-through bunkers, the large shed, the scale house, all of those things are going to remain. With respect to the build to sell all our basing props, animal outputs, and production points, we're going to be giving the map three quarters of a point because, again, we do not have the ability to sell fabric, clothes, cereal, chocolate, planks, or furniture. Some of those are a little curious because, well, we do have a sawmill that is capable of making planks. Here we have a train transfer station as well as the ability to rent the train. So we do have a train cell point here at the edge of the map. Coming across the northern side of the map, you can see that the map appears to be mostly flat, but I will tell you, it does have some subtle rolling of hills on these fields. Overall, you should be fairly well with respect to maybe using slightly underpowered machinery on the map compared to what the machinery is calling for. So here we have our bale sell point. We have our ammo dealer. And then this is going to be a general sell all type sell point. Back tucked away in the woods, we do have our vehicle dealer. As well as our fuel point. Just for fun, we're going to pick up a second Mahindra. We want to see where our vehicles are going to spawn at. So quite a large area for our vehicles to spawn in at. We do have our dealer maintenance trigger as well, just behind that with our corner markers. So we do know where to bring our vehicles and implements. We have our fuel point. And then this is a small cell point that we're going to basically bring all of our oil products to. Just going to double back a little bit between fields five and six. This is going to be one of our grain cell points. Then we have our starting farm again, and we're going to make our way kind of diagonally across the map to the southeastern side, not the extreme southeastern corner, just the southeastern side. That's where we have a little bit of a town and where we're going to find the rest of our production and sell points. With respect to the map, having custom buildings that are making use of the new texturing technique as well as ground textures, we are going to be giving the map a full point there as well. So here we have our bakery. We have our sugar mill, our oil mill, and our flour mill. And then we have the small refinery located here behind the bakery. So here we're going to have our fill area for our fuel and other fill points. We have our pallet spawn point and we have our dump point for our crude oil. That is what is going to be required for this production point. Let's go ahead and take a look at our build mode. Because we do have some buildings that are included with this production. Crude oil production. We have an old slurry tank. It's going to hold liquid manure. Under our container, we have an old fuel tank. And then under production, well, we have a small oil pump. It is located right here. And this small oil pump is going to require those empty oil barrels. And we're going to have to buy those from the shop. We're going to deliver those barrels. And then we're going to get some barreled crude oil out of that. For which we can then bring down here to our small refinery. We also have a big oil pump. And this big oil pump is just going to work automatically. All it requires is air air quote air and that is going to make our crude oil and then we have the small refinery which is pre-placed on the map but if we want to increase our production we could put down a medium refinery or a large refinery and then with respect to our ground textures 
fairly standard ground textures and plants. So that is going to wrap this video up. We're not going to do a drive around because everything is fairly easy to locate and we covered it all kind of just flying around. We're going to give this map a score of 4.75 out of 5. We've had several maps that just have come so, so close to getting a full 5.0, but ultimately they just have one or two little things that have caused us to take just a little bit of a point off. Hopefully this map will get updated to include the ability to sell the fabric clothes, cereal, chocolate, planks, and furniture. Then we could say, well, this is a 5.0 map. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of this map? Is it going to be your next playthrough? Or are you going to go and maybe hold out for something else? And until next time, happy farming.